So, you want to know how to do this, huh? And what about this? Let's jump right into it. For you to be able to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to already be on a modded version of Beat Saber. If you're not modded already, head over to my channel and watch my modding video or click the link in the description. Go to questmodding.com and click on released mods. Make sure you're on the right version that matches your game. I'm using 127. You can follow this video for any version as long as the mods are out for that version. Now let's download Trick Saber and Quest Sounds. Next, launch BMBF and go to the Tools page and type this address into your web browser. Okay, if you typed everything incorrectly, no typos, and you're on the same network and your headset is open on the tools page in BMBF and not idling, you should be met with the screen. You will be showing connected down here in green. If it doesn't show connected, double check all those things I just mentioned. But you can click here in the center and then add in the two mods that we just grabbed. Quest Sounds and Trick Saber. You should see it Q in the bottom right, and then you'll wanna hit Sync to Beat Saber. So Quest Sounds were successful. Okay, so for some reason with Trick Saber, it wouldn't let me click in the center. I had to drag and drop it in and then it worked. But either way, try both methods if it doesn't say um, that it's syncing to the game. Now launch Beat Saber and make sure your mods are there. Let's start with Trick Saber. These are gonna be all of your settings. Make sure that Trick Saber is enabled. You can set your trigger and thumbstick to whichever action you prefer. Thumbstick direction is the direction to move your thumbstick to either throw or spin, whichever you have it set for. I prefer vertical. Uh, it's just easier to push up than it is to the side for me. I also like to crank throw velocity all the way up and saber return speed, I turn that up as well. You can turn on hit notes during trick, but it will disable your score submission. So be mindful of that and turn it off if you want to place a score. And that's how you use Trick Saber. Now you can spin your sabers to your heart's content and even throw your sabers at blocks. Go crazy with it. Now on to quest sounds. Join the Beat Saber modding group discord, link in the description. Then go down to game sounds. In here, you can find a ton of different sounds. You can of course make your own sounds, but I'm not covering that. So you'd have to figure that out on your own. You can sample the sounds by clicking play and then download by clicking the arrow. I'm gonna grab a few for demonstration. Now, when you have all the sounds downloaded, plug your Quest into your PC and then allow the pop-up in the headset. If you don't get a pop-up, check out my quick fix for Quest 2 files not showing. Then go to this PC, Quest 2, Mod Data, Beat Games, Mods, then Quest Sounds. From here, you have all of your folders for different sounds you can set in game. If Quest Sounds isn't showing in your mods folder, make sure you launch Beat Saber after you added the mod so it can create the folder. Let's put our sounds in. I picked this one for level cleared, so I'll put it in this folder. Ah, dang, this one is an MP4 file, so that won't do. It needs to be an AUG file like these other ones. Then just go through and put all your sounds in the right folders. You can use any sound for any of the folders. Now go to Quest Sounds in Game, select all the sounds you want to use for each action. You can have multiple sounds in each folder and switch between them. The bubble hit sound was horribly delayed, so it sounded really bad. Some files aren't very good, just depends on who makes it. So if it sounds weird, it's probably just the file. Try switching to a different sound to test it. This hit sound is much better and so satisfying to listen to. Bruh. Thanks a bunch for watching. Come on over to Twitch and catch me on a live stream. Till next time. YouTube subscriptions are completely free. I actually love it when I get likes and subscribes on YouTube. You can sub to me today on YouTube, so feel free to go to my YouTube channel and, and subscribe. Oh, yeah.